What up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's a new day. It's a new week, and we're going to keep checking out James Taylor. So a couple of days ago, my, my wife and I uh, filmed a video. It was my first time listening to James Taylor. Well, technically my second time. I, I've seen him perform with Zach Brown. That's how we, we got to know him. We checked out his uh, live performance of Fire and Rain, and we released it yesterday. It got like 22,000 views within the day, but I was actually surprised there weren't any like copyrights, like copyright stops on it. But eventually came so that video is blocked right now we're going through the dispute process hopefully uh, we get to publish that again because that was so much fun so my wife is like you got to keep checking out james taylor and to that i say very well he's been picking the songs for me so far we're gonna check out sweet baby james today i want to appreciate all of you to uh for continuing to uh hang out with us and and check out the channel it means the world this is so much fun a lot of y'all give me some very interesting comments uh, about james taylor like Maybe we'll make a video of some of the things that y'all taught me, but this is fun. I, like, I'm sure he was big in Latin America, but actually not really, because I never heard of him. Hit like, subscribe. Take me there, James. There's a young cowboy He lives on the range His horse and his cattle Are his only companions Hmm works in the saddle and he sleeps in the canyon waiting for summer his pastures to change this is country oh that's As the time. moon rises he sits by his fire thinking about women and glasses of beer and closing his eyes as the doggies retire he sings out a song which is soft but it's clear As if maybe someone could hear Wow Good night you moonlight ladies Rock a by sweet baby Jane Deep greens and blues are the colors I choose won't you let me go down in my dreams and rock her by sweet baby Jane? Okay. So in the video we did with Zach Brown, this is the song that they uh did a that they did the the medley with. Seems like as you're just thinking about your child while you're away, your family while you're away. Sometimes I uh, envy the romanticism of the life that is the cowboy life, and I mention that because it's probably so much harder than my mind is making it out to be right now but there is something uh cool about that now the first of december was his universe is fantastic too by the way so was the turnpike from stockbridge to boston though the berkshire seemed dreamlike on account of that frosting with 10 miles behind me and 10,000 more to go mm. There's a song that they sing when they take to the highway A song that they sing when they take to the sea A song that they sing of their home in the sky Maybe you can believe it if it helps you to sleep the singing works just fine for me So good night, you moonlight ladies Rock up by sweet baby Jane Deep greens and blues are the colors I choose Won't you let me go down in my dreams and rock of our sweet baby Jane. Such a simple, chill, beautiful song. I, I can see why people like them, man. I, I get, you know, that folksy, like, um, I get like a Simon and Garfunkel feel, right? Like, I remember what, like driving through the car with my, with my dad and whatnot, him playing some Simon and Garfunkel. So you get some of that chill, like that chill vibe, humble voice, nothing particularly special, but somehow that makes it, I don't know, more special? James Taylor wrote the song in 1969 when he drove on his way to Richmond, Virginia to see his older brother, the late Alex Taylor. James had recently returned to America after recording his first album in England, and he was shocked to learn that Alex had become a father for the first time in his absence. 
Alex and his wife, Brent Taylor, had given birth to their first child, a baby son, which Brent, which Brent wanted to name Richmond after the city in which he was born. However, Alex wanted to name the child James after his younger brother. So after a few arguments, the couple named the boy James Richmond Taylor. James was elated to discover that he had a new baby nephew also named James. So the title can be a little confusing since both the singer and the nephew are named James. Like this song would be awesome if I actually had a child named James. Like what a perfect lullaby to sing to them. So this song is is was was uh, written in honor of that child. But what I'm learning here from songfacts.com, there are some ways the song associates with its writer. As a young child, James Taylor, along with his siblings, often sang each other to sleep at night. The story goes that James couldn't stand couldn't stand it when his mother sang because she only sang opera, and because James' mother was a lyric soprano, she never sang lullabies. James' father never sang lullabies either because he didn't exactly have the knack for music. So when he was a little boy, the young James Taylor was often put in the position of having to sing himself to sleep each night. Hence the line, singing works just fine for me. This is, uh, this is what's going through my mind. I miss wholesome, wholesome, wholesome music like this. But uh, you know what? Actually, I don't need to, to miss it. It's there. I can, I, can, I can listen to it still. Yeah, that's just a beautiful, that's a beautiful song. And like the one way I, I do somewhat relate to that, it's because of my job, I, I travel quite a bit. I have to go, you know, go visit clients and whatnot and give presentations and sell and you go hard all day. But instead of going home, you're back at a hotel and you just miss your family. I wish I gave myself more time to feel how much I miss them, though. Like I try to like numb it with, you know, a lot of Netflix, a lot of, you know, like I'll take like my Steam Deck and like play. But really is that I'm just uh, missing my girls. So I could listen to that. I am going to listen to that. I'm going to start listening to more James Taylor. All right, guys, that's the video. Short. Well, I hope short. Probably not too short. My bad. Thank you for hanging out. Hit like, subscribe. And if you want to find other ways to support the channel, check out the description down below. And let's hope that uh, James Taylor's and, and his copyright um, owners uh, will re uh, release that video because it was just so much fun. We definitely don't need to make money on that thing. So to all of you who are supporting, thanks.